Hello, I'm Katie Jo and I am the owner of Zella Rose Wigs and the author of the Diary of a Bold Girl blog. Today I'm just doing a really quick one just about my favourite wig products and a favourite... I've also got a pair of scissors that I use for cutting the lace off wigs and I have a tangled tamer style brush. So for washing my wigs I really like these two shampoo and conditioner. They're both from Forever Aloe which is it's an online company but they also have like sales representatives but I find that this shampoo and conditioner is the best one that I've used it really really brings the shine out in wigs and it the conditioner also doesn't make them greasy which I do think is a problem sometimes but yeah it's really good especially with the shampoo if you wash once to get all the product out and then I tend to do another wash and it really really does bring the shine out in the wigs my second one is this Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance Spray, which I think this is really good and it smells amazing. However, the only thing is, I am trying to be as cruelty free as possible, so I'm not entirely sure on whether Aussie is. So I'm going to check that out, and if it is, I will find a different alternative to use in the future and will definitely let you know. I also think that a fabric softener is probably the best thing that you'll ever buy for wigs. If if the wig needs soaking, if the wig is really damaged, if the ends of the hair are really, really damaged, soaking in a bottle of fabric conditioner tends to be the best thing. Normally, I tend to go for a, a different comfort one, the Comfort Creations, because it smells of sandalwood, and I'm completely madly in love with sandalwood. But this one is equally good. So any kind of fabric softener that goes into the washing machine is fine. You just need a little cap full pour it onto the wig, let it soak in the sink or in a bucket of water just for a couple of hours, rinse and it tends to bring it back to life a little bit. This R&B hair moisturiser is probably my favourite smell in the whole entire world but if you, you literally need to dab the end of your finger in, rub it through your hands, pop it on the ends, this wig I've got on right now could definitely do with a little bit of it. And it it really helps to um, moisturise the ends of your hair and to just smell amazing. My boyfriend wears this stuff on his beard and it is divine. So, 100% recommend this. Even if you have hair, just for the ends of your hair or your boyfriend's beard, Lush is the one. So, as I said about scissors, these are a pair of haberdashery scissors that I bought from John Lewis. That They were quite expensive, I think they are about £25-30, pounds, but they are unbelievable for cutting lace front wigs so I don't I don't use my scissors for anything else so that it does keep them sharp and make sure that they don't get damaged by hair or anything but if you do get a lot of lace fronts or you don't want to cut them yourself then I mean ask me if you order wigs from me and you pop it in the notes that you'd like the lace front to be chopped then I'm more than willing to do that for you but if you are wanting to do your own definitely invest in a really good pair of scissors a long pair is really good and of course haberdashery because they are for material so it means that you can do really long strokes and it tends to give a much better finish so yeah haberdashery scissors from John Lewis to be fair you could probably get them for a lot cheaper from somewhere else but I do swear by this pair and then finally, just one of these tangle, teaser tangle tamer brushes. You don't have to go for a branded one. To be fair, I don't really think there's much difference. But I do find that they, they stop the static a little bit more and they don't damage the hair when you're pulling through. And like I've said in a lot of previous vlogs, make sure you're brushing from the bottom coming up to the top. And that would definitely be advised. So, John Lewis scissors. R&B hair moisturiser from Lush. I've got the shampoo and conditioner from Forever Aloe. I'll leave a link in the bio for that one because you might need to find it from someone's specific store. I've got the Aussie Hair Miracle Insurance, which I'm pretty sure I bought from Morrison's, but I'm sure you can buy it from any kind of drugstore, super drug, boots. Let us know if you can't find that one, I'll pop a link up. Any kind of fabric softener. Personally, I use Comfort because I like the smell of it. I really love the sandalwood one. They do a stunning strawberry one. And I think, to be honest, I just get this with my weekly shop from wherever I go. So Morrison's, b and I think Home Bargains even sells stuff like this on offer quite a lot. So it doesn't need to cost much money. And finally, the Tangle Teaser, Tangle Tamer brush 
But we will be selling these on the Zella Rose website, so keep your eyes open because we're definitely selling for quite a lot cheaper than some of the brands. So thank you for that. And if anybody has any suggestions, especially for cruelty-free products, I would love to know. So if you either contact us through our big cartel site or if you send us a message on Instagram, it's at Zella Rose Wigs. We would love to hear from you. If you have any questions regarding anything that we've talked about today, get in touch. Thank you.